Um, so I do have some uh, little, little videos for us to watch here. Um, I thought we'd start with uh, some Lego stop motions, which would be kind of fun. So I have a little bookmark folder here um, with five Lego World War II D-Day stop motions uh, that I thought we'd go ahead and check out, which could be kind of fun. So this first one is Lego D-Day Normandy Invasion Omaha Beach. Uh, 10 frames per second by PX26. <laughs> okay, so he's using a green screen here, but there's a watermark on the background footage he used for water. It's just kind of funny. All right, short little scene at the beginning there. I like his uh, water ripple effects right there. That's really nice. Um, normally when I do it, I do on the brick itself coming out, but I like that it's in the tide like that. I think that's kind of cool. Code name, Omaha Beach. Oh, little lobster. Little lobster action. He's got good German soldiers. That's a well-built bunker right there. I do wonder if those soldiers are from, um, like uh, where where they were made they might be like brick arms or something they they look nice was he starting to play stairway to heaven <laughs> them boys got some military vests on it's like let me get chat up real quick Make sure that's working i think chat might not be working on the stream itself i'll fix that after this one. Oh, there we go here come the boys wait what do you have that on Oh, interesting. So he actually used um, like a blue cloth and then just kind of rippled around different pieces, parts around that, which I actually think is kind of sick. I, I like that method. That's that's pretty cool. Yo, what's up, Hughes? What's up, Big Potato? What's up, Canadian Bacon? All right. My man's got the stash. What is that? <laughs> Wait, was that a Japanese soldier? <laughs> I think that's a Japanese soldier we got there. Interesting. All right, and then this is actually camera footage, which actually works well. I think sometimes when stop motions add actual like camera footage, it doesn't blend well with the frames per second of the actual stop motions, but I think this actually worked pretty well there. And that's a that's a actual effect right there. Wait. He, he's blinking a light. That's cool. That's a practical effect. They're getting ready, boys. They do be getting ready. That is an M60. <laughs> that, sir, is an M60. I respect it. I respect the hustle that the Germans got. Alright, I like his D-Day mock, I have to say. So he must have a green screen back here. Um... And then he's got a really nice D-Day setup. I've I've recognized those sam these sandbags and these bricks. You can actually buy on eBay for really really cheap. They're they're fake Lego, but they're they're nice and they look like Lego and they fit Lego bricks. Um, so that's pretty nice. The barbed wire I've never seen before, but that's a really nice touch. Yo, what's up, Hayden? How you doing, man? He's got good muscle effects. Oh, <laughs> the Japanese soldier died immediately. All right, and I think that's practical effects too. Wait, did, did he use practical effects for that? I think he actually did. That's really impressive right there. I like that. Oh, that was clean. That was, that's clean right there. That was good. That was well done. Oh. Nice. I think it suffers a little bit that a lot of stop motions do um, from pacing. I think a lot of times there's a little bit of a, a problem with pacing with stop motions because of the frame rate. And I've suffered from this myself with my own stuff. What did... Did someone just throw a grenade in there over their sergeant's head? Oh, that poor man. All right. It's a good mock. I really like the mark mock. 
I think the Japanese soldiers represent the British because most LCVPs had British drivers. Could be, I guess. Yeah. Yo, Marshall, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it, man. Those must have been the airborne, I guess. Is this their med bay or something? He's looting. <laughs> My man's looting. Oh, Jesus. Some grunts there would have been good. I think, like, adding, like, the Lego grunt would have been nice. What's up, Stormpaw? Oh, they clapping, folks. How's the audio, by the way, guys? Too loud? Like, my audio compared to the video's audio. Oh, Scout got a thing of soup. <laughs> What's up, Epic Scrap? Alright, and then he's got uh, post effects there. It looks like he actually chewed up the cannon a little bit. Fire the hole! Like, look, the, the cannon's kind of chewed up. I don't know if his dog did that, or he did it on purpose to make it look kind of rough. Man's just witnessed a war crime in Lego because looting in a war is war crime. Pretty funny. Yeah, I wonder if those are the Brits or something. I, that was good. I like that a lot. That was actually a really nice video. Um, I would probably say it could have used a little bit better pacing and things like that, sped up some of the animation and stuff. But overall, that was that was solid. Um, I liked the like the use of practical effects as well as the use of um, you know not CGI but green screen effects and things like that. I thought it was kind of cool. All right, our next one is up here. This one is by. Oh, we have an ad here enlisted for Enlisted. Free, brand new online World War II enlisted's pretty solid, I will say. <laughs> All right. Uh, this one, what does Scout have now? Oh, no, he stole something. One second. He keeps yoinking these off the counter. Bro. Not key. What's your dog's name? His name is Scout. All right. This is by Spearhead Studios. Lego World War II, the Battle of Omaha Beach. By the way, how's the audio looking? Might be a little loud, I don't know. Dude, banger royalty free music. I use it in my own videos. This is good. All right, now this has good pacing. He went for the blue water uh, that's just like matte, not Lego as well, which I think is a good strategy. Uh, he's utilizing a lot of good close-ups here. I think he's using both uh, like green screen effects as well as physical Lego effects that blending again it's very good dang look how many figures he's got bro unless he's maybe got a green screen and doubling up the footage that could be what's happening, or that's all figures he has back there, which is crazy. That's nice. That's a good animation. Using some cotton balls to make the explosions, but putting them so close to the camera that you can't really tell that they're cotton balls. I think he might be using audio from like Saving Private Ryan or something like that. This is a really good one. Am I at full HD? Yeah, I am. The Call of Duty Sniper, baby. He, he's got really good FPS on this thing. Bruh. 
Bruh. Actually flaming out. Oh, that's nice. Oh, those tank traps are cool. Wait, look at that. I wonder how he built those. He must have used one of those bricks that has, like, basically studs surrounding the entire thing and just put the standard bricks over them. It's pretty cool. This is so well done, dude. That one was really good, dude. That one was really good. Oh, uh, let me make sure that the chat box is showing. All right, now you, you guys should be able to see your chats in the thing. Let me know if you don't, but you should be able to, I think. Um, that one was sick. I'm not gonna lie. That one was really, really good. Is Daily even reading chat? Yes. All right, let's watch the next one. Most of the chat is off topic, so. <laughs> All right, June 6, 1944. This one is by Oh, this is also by Spearhead Studio. So he's done multiple of D-Day itself, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, clap that last one up. You're right, dude. That one was so good. Oh, so maybe the last one was from the U.S. point of view, and this one's going to be from the German point of view. My man snoozing during D-Day. Oh, maybe it won't just be from the German POV. So I think this one might be a little bit older. And the other one was newer. Because this one is definitely... Not as good. <laughs> but it's still pretty good. Oh, that's a nice shot. That's like straight out of Saving Private Ryan right there. That's like one for one. I love that. Recreated. I think his last D-Day mock was better as well. But this one's still definitely very solid. Oh, his effects are good too. This one's sick. This is older because it uses all yellow people. Oh, okay. Although he might just have yellow Legos versus the new actual like skin color Lego things too. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean it's older or not. But I do think you're right. I think it is older. It's almost like he recreated his last one because we're seeing a lot of the same shots and stuff like that, you know? Yo, military history lover. Thanks for the follow, man. Like we're seeing a lot of the same shots we saw in the last one that were done super well uh, but just put into this one you know but they were done better in the last one so this one might be older and he did a remaster of it or something could be Oof. yeah because we kind of saw the same thing with the steward i mean it's still really solid the dog just stuck something up the counter again Saw a documentary on D-Day, and during it, there was something about a guy being saved due to them having his Bible in his chest pocket or something like that. That's crazy. I, um, there was a book I read, and, um, one of the, it was like a, not an autobiography, but a retelling of events of World War II about a certain company in the war. And one of the men had a, had a, like, um, like a clip, like an M1 Grand clip in his chest, like a strap of them or something, or a pouch or something like that. He was shot in the chest, and it hit the clip, and so he, ha he still has the clip, and it's just got a bullet just fused into it that saved his life, which is kind of crazy. Oh, the German last stand. It is not going very well. Oh. He, he is very good. I also love how he made the camera shaky, which makes it feel more natural. Oh, 
Oh, and there's the flame scene again. Actually, the flame scene in this was better done than the last one, in my opinion. Oh, and that was nice. Wait, we gotta watch that shot again, dude. First of all, the flames. Super well done. That's beautiful. And then we've got this shot. Oh. Just so well made. What the heck? Absolute chad stuff here. When do you recreate black and white photos out of Lego or something like that? That's kind of nice. I like that. There's also something where at the Battle of Gallipoli, uh, two boats collided with each other in midair. I've heard about that, but I've also heard that it wasn't midair. One of the bullets was not fired yet. The other bullet just impacted it. I think that's a common, common misconception. This one was good. This one was good. I think the last one was still better, but this one was really nice too. This one was solid. Really, really solid. Okay. Uh, next one we've got is called Lego D-Day, the Battle for Omaha Beach by JD Brick Productions. This one has 7.8 million views, which is insane. The legendary A10 All right, Warthog we gotta get through the ads first. The sound of a there we go. Now this is a clean mock. The other ones were a little bit smaller in scale, you could tell, but this one's large, it's got depth to it. This one's nice. This one's really nice, well made. I love their tank traps too. Those are nice. What's going on, Darth Blitz? How you doing, man? Oh, he's got a really good landing animation, too. Moving mouths. This guy might win the day for the best one. He might win. Yeah, this is gonna be tough to beat, dude. Dale, you gonna play the new Halo mod for Men of War? Yes. Uh, what's your favorite World War II gun? Um, I don't know. The Car 98K is cool. So is the Mosin Gant. Scout's playing with a water bottle now. It's very loud. <laughs> This is great. Look at those Higgins boats, too. This is good. Dude. I wonder if Brick Mania sells those uh, Higgins boats. I kind of want to see. Ooh. They do. I kind of want to build one of those. Oh, out of stock. Do they have another version? Oh, they have multiple editions. It's 2017. Oh, also out of stock. What about the other ones? Also out of stock. Bro. They're so good, though. Wow, look at that edit. That's so nice. Oh, my God. His vehicles are self-made, and he has a shop. Oh, dang. Does he? Huh. We'll have to check that out later. This guy's a master. This dude's an actual master. I should have I should have saved this one for the last one. It's so good. Uh, you guys can't put links in the thing. Um, it blurs them out so people don't get scammed or anything or bots can't come in. I'll check out the shop later. This is so good. Bruh. Actual just god tier animation here. His vehicles are self made, yeah. Everyone's always got the pipe grenades. Look at that throw animation, too. And it's so clean. It's not corny or anything like that, you know? Like, it fits perfectly. It doesn't look unnatural. 
Uh, did you know that the equipment of the soldiers was so heavy when all the soldiers went over the side, some of them sank and drowned? Yeah, I did hear about that. You can also see it in Saving Private Ryan. That's depicted pretty well. Oh, get the sniper up here, bruv. It's a crack shot. Would you start a Lego World War II minifigure collection like you did with your clones? I would consider that. Oh, this is just so beautiful. Unreal animation. It's just so fluid with the camera shake and stuff. It's really nice. Saving Private Ryan was a good movie, I agree. Really hard to watch, it makes me cry. It's a tough watch. Look at that over the shoulder, third person view. The surrendering Chapman's y'all. Hey Daily, what's your favorite World War One dash two weapon and vehicle? Um I don't know, I really like the M24 Chaffee. You know that scene in Saving Private Ryan where the two German soldiers are surrendering and saying something and then they get gunned down by the American soldiers? What they're actually saying, it's like, it's not in German. It's in like Dutch or Hungarian or something like that, another language that sounds kind of like German. Um, and what it actually was, was those were soldiers who were forced into enlistment and didn't actually want to fight. So they were trying to surrender because they weren't actually you know, uh, fighting on behalf of <laughs> the Wehrmacht, they were forced into conscription um, and they were killed in the, in the movie, which is actually like an accurate representation. Uh, Sitezik. Is that Czech? Is that a misspelling or is it Sitezik a thing? Uh, is this just more script stuff? Nice. Very cool. That one was really good. That might have been the best yet. Absolutely. Unbelievable. Can't believe I hadn't seen this yet. I'll like my own. No. <laughs> Amazing VFX are stunning. I remember your first films. I need to say you've improved incredibly. Great job. LCM Brick Show also makes great stuff. Daily question. What happened to Star Wars... What if Men of War, like, you only do, eh, well, you know, things stop. <laughs> All right, next up, we have got, oh, we got another ad. We've got D Walker 771 with LEGO World War II D-Day Omaha Beach landings. June 6, 1944. They were saying, don't shoot us, we hurt no one. Yeah. Spielberg is pretty good, dude. That's a nice animation. I like that. I do like it when they mix practical effects with green screen. I think that is a really nice way to do it with Lego stop motions. He's got the, he's got the voice. He's got Saving Private Ryan. We've got Toom Honks. Toom Honks is involved, boys. I'll see you on the beach. I'll see you on the beach. Oh, that's a nice mock right there. That one's good. That one's deep. You can see a lot of effort was put into that. Also, it seems like everyone has the same type of tank traps and um, hedgehogs and stuff like that. I wonder if there's like a guide online where to how to build them. Dang, dude. It's so good. We haven't seen a bad one yet today. I feel like it would have been cool if they used COD audio, not saving Private Ryan is bad. Oh, not saying Private Ryan is bad. Why COD, Call of Duty audio? Why? I guess everyone kind of uses saving Private Ryan audio. It's a, it's a frequent thing you hear a lot in these stop motions. 
Daily, what less known World War II event would you want to see turned into a movie? Hmm. Oh. Operation Mincemeat would be interesting. Dang. Okay, this one, the other ones were clean and really nice, but this one feels more brutal, you know? Already done? Someone already made that? Oh, I gotta watch that then. This one feels a little bit more, like, hardy, you know? This one's really good, I have to say. My opinion would be the Japanese invasion of Hong Kong. Yeah, I think a lot of the early Pacific War just was never covered in a lot of uh, well, school, Hollywood, except this. You know, stuff like that. How long is this one? Six minutes, dang. That's impressive. A lot of the other ones we watched were like three or four minutes. This one's a chonker. Operation Valkyrie? I don't know what that one is. I do wonder where he got his minifigures from. I like them a lot. They've got good designs to them. Operation Valkyrie, it's a World War II movie of an attempted assassination of Hitler. Oh, it's the one where they put the bomb under his desk. Did you ever try out the Halo stop motion? They are pretty good. Ooh, maybe we'll check out some of those. Oh, look, he stuck uh, some silly putty or Play-Doh or something to the bottom to make him stick easier to the Legos and make him easier to move. Big dubs for the U.S. Army. Granata. Yavol. Oh my god, that was brutal. Everyone has this surrender scene in theirs. Dedicated to those brave soldiers. Oh, okay, so it was... Oh, he's got a little... Hello, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, that's I cool. enjoying being back to World War II animation, so expect a lot more of those to be coming. I like this year. idea, like having a little deep nice construction after. I enough to send me some, some guns and some figures for this animation, which uh, were a big help. So that's cool. Very wide. A lot of country, so... More, because... I like that a lot. That's a good... People should do that more often. D Walker 771. That's cool. He's done a lot of stuff. Well done, my man. Well done. All right, guys. I think that's going to be about it for this stream. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to, uh, you know, follow the stream, all that good stuff. But I will see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.